Have you ever seen two or more trains on a roller coaster racing around the track at the same time and wondered how they avoided bumping into each other? The answer to that question is blocks. Blocks are sections of a roller coaster that only one train can occupy at a given time. Blocks are separated by a controllable part of the ride, in most cases a brake section or a chain lift hill. These controlled areas allow a train to be stopped if the block ahead of it is occupied. For some examples, I will use a ride that I'm very familiar with, Gemini at Cedar Point. Gemini has four blocks, the station, A block, B block, and C block. For simplicity's sake, we'll only be looking at one side of the ride as the block logic between Gemini Red and Gemini Blue is identical. When a train leaves the station on Gemini, it leaves the station block and enters the A block. The A block does not stop at this singular brake you see here. This brake is only used for transferring and has nothing to do with normal block logic. You can always tell if a section of brakes is a block section if the train is able to complete the layout if it would have to stop there for any given reason. The top of the lift is the end of the A block on Gemini, meaning that if the B block was occupied, the train would stop here. Now the first drop, first turn, first airtime hill, second turn, and second airtime hill are all part of the B block. But before you round the last wide turn, you'll pass through a section of brakes. These brakes are Gemini's mid-course brake run or block brakes. The entirety of these brakes is in the B block, but as soon as the train leaves these brakes, it enters the C block. So if the C block was occupied, a train would stop here. For Gemini in particular, these brakes are also used as trim brakes, meaning they slow down the train if it is moving too fast. So even if you hear these brakes engage, it does not mean that the C block is occupied. Leaving the mid-course, we are in the C block. This block extends all the way back to the station and does not end on these brakes before the final helix. The brakes at the end of the ride serve as the controlled area keeping the trains out of the station block. This is how the block logic for Gemini works, however many other rides have more complex or more simple block sections. The block system ensures that only one train may be in a given area of the ride at any given time, preventing collisions. The block system is checked every morning before the ride opens to the public. Also on the side of safety, roller coaster brakes are closed by default, meaning that in the rare event of a power failure, your train will stop in the next brakes without a problem. Now for some special cases. The roller coaster manufacturer Bollinger & Mabillard, or B&M, has always been on the cutting edge of block technology. B&M pioneered self-clearing blocks. The best way to explain self-clearing blocks is with an example. On a traditional ride like Gemini, when a train is stopped at the end of a block, let's use the lift hill as an example, it will continue to sit there not just until the next block is clear, but until a ride operator restarts the lift. On a B&M coaster with self-clearing blocks, the lift hill will restart automatically when the next block is clear. B&M also pioneered the rolling block system. This allows trains to pull into the station faster by allowing two trains in the station at once. This works by essentially making the station into multiple smaller blocks so that when one train is still leaving the station, the other can begin pulling in. This further increases B&M Coaster's already well-known high capacity. You now have a basic understanding of blocks. This easy-to-miss system has been preventing roller coaster trains from bumping for well over 50 years, and yet it's so easily overlooked when talking about roller coasters. If you have any more questions you want answered about roller coaster safety, feel free to ask in the comment section below, or feel free to join our Discord and ask there. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching! That's how you do good operations. Rolling blocks, baby.